Welcome back, NAAFS fans. Coming up next, we have the ladies at 115 pound flyweight as Tisha Torres takes on Rebecca Gritza. Let's send it up to Jazz and introduce them. Ladies and gentlemen, our next fight is brought to you by the International Exposition Center and also B3 Enterprises. And now, making her way to the John P. Lennon Red Corner, please welcome Tisha Torres. Will Duke, here comes Tisha Torres, 1-0 out of Knuckle Up Fitness, had her first win at Recently in September last month by Rear Naked Choke, she has taken this fight on relatively short notice. Um, be a good opportunity here for us to plug Eve of Destruction coming up later in the year. It's an all-female card. Last year was, uh, two years ago, first year, an all-female uh, card was put together. It's absolutely fantastic. High up, capped off by Jessica Evil Eye, who's currently off in uh, the Bellator uh, fighting organization. and. Um, you know, this gives us an opportunity. I mean, what is the state of women's MMA as we talked about the UFCs and the Bellators? Well, I, I think it's only growing. I mean, I don't see the women coming into the UFC yet, but that's good. That, that means we need other organizations out there. But by far, the UFC is the number one organization in the world. Um, what we need is organizations like this to build the depth of the women's division. We need as many women out there fighting to build the depth that we have in the men's division. But again, the, the women, they fight just as good or even sometimes even better than the men. I'm looking forward to this fight. And now making her way to the B3 Enterprises Blue Corner, please welcome her opponent, Rebecca Gritza. <laughs> Will Duke, here comes Rebecca Gritz, a two and one out of Team Bundy. She is very, very tall as uh, as compared to Tisha. And uh, she has done some training with Jessica Evil Eye over at Strong Style. Uh, obviously her advantage is, is her height and we'll see that as we take a look at our Tim Lally Chevrolet tail of the tape. Strongly recommend to go out and follow this girl on Twitter. Her, her handle is at Skinny Fight Chick, C-H-I-C. One of her most recent tweets were uh, Valley Tudo shorts to the grocery store, not my finest hour. So she's a, she's a character, all right. Speaking of Twitter, make sure you follow uh, the NAAFS on Twitter. You know, if you're not following them, get out there and follow them. Absolutely, at NAAFS. What's, what's your Twitter handle, brother? I have 14 total followers. I don't I want to put it out there. It's embarrassing. Nobody's following me. I'm Duke Rufus at Twitter, D-U-K-E-R-O-U-F-U-S. I think I just broke 6,900 today. Yeah, I did uh, 6,900. It took me three months to get 10. <laughs> yeah, nobody's following me. I don't, uh, I barely know what to do with that thing anyway. But as you see Rebecca uh, Gritza, you're gonna see that she's gonna, she's got a nice jab and she's got good low kicks. And uh, I think that's gonna be the key to her victory. Ladies and gentlemen, our next fight is brought to you by the International Exposition Center and also B3 Enterprises. It is scheduled for three three-minute rounds and it's in the NAAFS Amateur Series female 115-pound weight class. And now introducing, fighting out of the John P. Lennon red corner, this fighter is undefeated with one win and zero defeats, standing five feet, one inches tall, weighing 114 and one half pounds, representing Knuckle Up Fitness, fighting out of Atlanta, Georgia, Tisha, the Tiny Tornado, Torres. And now her opponent fights out of the B3 Enterprises blue corner. She stands five feet nine inches tall and weighed in at 115 pounds even. Her MMA record sits at two and one. Representing Team Bundy fighting out of Hermitage, Pennsylvania. She is ranked third in the division. Rebecca Train Rekka Gritza. Your referee is Jerry Poe.
Well, here we go. Tisha, the tiny tornado Torres. You could just make that easy and call her the fifth T to the fifth power. And Rebecca, the train wrecker. I like that nickname. Nice, nice combination followed up by that uh, by that kick by Torres. Man, and Torres is bringing some heat. Yeah. Nice hook, uppercut. Oh, and this fight's hook good. Cross. Over, it's over. What Damn. a hello and welcome to the NAAFS. Wow, and Rebecca is hurt. Wow, the Tiny Tornado is absolutely a brilliant nickname. She was, she came in there, closed the difference against the taller Rebecca and went to town. That, that, that was a Cyborg Santos-esque uh, just beat down there. She just came right out for the kill. That's my type of fighter. She came in with attitude when she walked down. She was pointing at her sign, and now she's yapping to the camera. I like this girl. Now this is what women's MMA needs. Women who come out and fight like this. Wow, very impressive. Very, nice very Nice hook. Up. Oh, that was impressive. She doubled up on the left. You can see that she does some boxing. I can tell that she's either kickboxing or boxing besides just uh, doing MMA. She had a very nice combination there. I want to see that again. It, Hopefully our guys can get it. Uh, watch. It. Yep, look at this, uppercut, another hook, overhand. That first combo that started it, she went left hook, turned it into a left uppercut, right over, came back with a left hook. Very nice. Very impressive win, very impressive. She goes over and shows sign of respect to Rebecca. Yeah, I think we're gonna try to get this gal back for Eve of Destruction, I believe off the top of my head, it's December 17th. Uh, it's an all female card and uh, really does, a, a really pushes um, female MMA in not only the region, but the way Nicole Long, the female matchmaker is able to draw from, we get people from everywhere. So let's send this up to Jazz and make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jerry Poe has stepped in and stopped this fight at just 28 seconds of the very first round. Officially, it is a technical knockout due to strikes. Your winner, Tisha, the Tiny Tornado, Tornado!